Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nuggets courses. Uh, today we will continue with the prerequisite creation for our lab, and this time it's around Azure Container Registry. So, a quick recap: we created the VMs, we installed the agent on the Linux VM, we connected the agent. Now we will spin the ACR. You deploy Docker image from a registry. To complete this uh, task, we will create the ACR. Navigate to Azure portal, create a resource container, and click uh, select the ACR. Yeah. So search bar, create a resource, containers, and then Azure container registry. Give it a name, select subscription, select the uh, same resource group we created earlier, and basically uh, choose a location, and then uh, select the standard and enable, something like that, yeah? Register rename, subscription, existing resource group, admin, users, yeah? You said enable admin users standard and create. Now navigate to ACR account and Azure portal, and you will see the repo not being available. Oh, this is a new. Then you create that one during the hands on lab. Yeah? So, what we did now, just like we spun the account. If you remember here, select enable and admin user enable, and then the account itself. Okay, so we have a created that. Next is creating a service principle, which we can use for authentication. So we created the ACR. Now we will create the SPN, service principle, which will allow us to authenticate. So Azure Container Service, AKS, require Azure Active Directory service principle to interact with Azure APIs. The service principle is needed to dynamically manage the resource such as user defined root and the layer for azure load balancer the easiest way to set up the service principle is to using azure cloud shell yeah or you can use the portal as well by to, by default creating the service principle in azure require owner permission okay you may have uh, trouble creating service principle if you are not the owner of the subscription yeah so open the shell by selecting the cloud shell from the menu bar now the cloud shell basically uh, the required storage i assume the storage is enabled and you can use an existing storage but if it's already uh, created you can select the bash because we are going to run some linux command and before completing the step for creating the service principle, you need to make sure you select the right subscription if you have multiple. So you can run like, for example, uh, AZ, uh, AZ account show, and that show you the details, which subscription you are using, okay? To list all. Then uh, if, the, if you have multiple, then you can see the list, AZ account list, that will show you how many tenants you have, like, you know, uh, subscriptions. To use the right subscription, all what you have to do is you run the same command, which is the AZ account, and then you set the subscription, like AZ account set hyphen hyphen subscription, and then the subscription ID beside it you added, okay? Which means all the activity you will be doing will be against that subscription. Next, we need to run the command to create the surface principle. This time, we will run AZ AD SP stand for surface principle create for RBAC. So this is just a name. Yeah. Hyphen hyphen role a contributor and the scope is my subscription ID and the name of the surface principle itself. Yeah. So something like that. Yeah. It will produce the below. AZ service principle create for RBAC hyphen role contributor scope subscription 
and then the name okay after the creation you will have a safe principle the last part what we need to do here is to create basically the cluster itself yeah so what do I need to do in this scenario in this task we'll create the AKS using the SSH key we had all the prereq you will be asked to utilize the you know uh, second data group as a part of the template creation this due to okay the current one does not provide so it makes sense if you use a, a different one yeah again navigate to Azure create a resource search for uh, AKS containers AKS give it a name provide the DNS suffix name uh, leave the default version subscription location yeah something like that okay the current version I think is at uh, 1.12.7 okay so you need to make sure you select the right one okay and then virtual size and location okay this is a lab so that's why we are not focusing too much but in your production or pipeline whatever you need to select the right uh, size to fulfill your requirement the load everything you're after and then you specify the key here you need to specify the service principle and the secret yeah so name the key client ID client secret so client ID secret we set for ID and SSH to log on to it and then we're going to use two nodes and the size of the do not itself yeah After selecting that, click on create, wait for the deployment, yeah? So you can review, you look at the settings, it's basic, subscription, current name, version, size, OS. After successful deployment, you will see that message says like deployment successfully, it might take a few minutes. If you experience error, it could be related to permission, SPN, and so on. Right, that's all what I have for you for today. Goodbye for now. Next, we will do the Azure CLI and we finish the prereg. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.